Hi everyone, it's Fadrik and welcome back to sadly our last adventure in the world of the Rogue Scavenger. For a short recap, I started developing this game about a month ago just to experiment building some kind of modified ship system that can form infinite number of ships. And after weeks of development, the systems worked perfectly. I took two weeks off to work on two small projects. The 3T game for the Team 3 initiative on YouTube which just crossed the 16 million donation and still going strong and don't forget to do your part in supporting our plan the second project is a procedural generator for the Pros jam which was way too much fun trying new art styles and get back into creating algorithms I wanted to get back to this game so bad but after messing around in the code and the art I didn't feel motivated at all to continue developing the rogue scavenger I went into the game wanting to create an immersive ship system where you can create and build an infinite number of ships of course but with just changing the part of the ship and the weapon and it's working and after completing this challenge the game felt boring to continue because all the fun ended by finishing the system and because I don't want to throw the project away I cleaned up the code, added some comments and decided I want to publish the system to the public to be a base asset for everyone and anyone who want to build a rogue like space game and now I want to explain the project a bit for everyone and that want to download it and yeah one important thing it's free and you can find it on github or on my hio page so enjoy the treat I guess but let's get real the project is simple all the ship parts are made as scriptable objects and we have a lot of them so let's divide the project into pieces before that I just want to recap the system which is a roguelike generator for infinite number of ships that is controlled by a main power source that controls the weapons, the thruster movement, the shields and everything and the ship moves around on a thruster based movement and all of that is shown with a clean UI so we have two important sections the main ship and the weapon system the ship system takes the following the ship core that controls the ship power but we can charge it on the fly so we need to dock to be able to do that next the ship engine that controls the thrusters including the ship speed and the power and of course how much power it consumes in one second the ship defense core which controls the ship hull's health and the ship shield system from durability to the power consumption and finally the ship tractor system which controls the middle tractor beam and the storage space on that ship the second part of this ship is weapons and each weapon can take three main parts first of them is the weapon core which have the weapon type and it's not implemented yet in the game but the type are available in the enum script the next part of the weapon is the weapon reactor that controls the damage the rate of fire plus the power storage of the weapon in our case it's like a weapon magazine you can say like that and how fast can recharge from the main ship power the last part is the barrel and here lies the shape of the weapon can it shoot two shots or maybe one can it be a sniper or gatling cannon it's up to the weapon power and this is controlled here by the bullet shape and the bullet speed and how much power each bullet will cost because for example, let's take a sniper rifle that have high speed bullet with high power consumption so we need to put it on a reactor that can recharge faster and have a big capacity for 2 shots at least the same goes to the cutting cannon we need to put it on a reactor with a huge capacity so we can rain fires upon enemy ships in addition to the ship and weapon system this bundle also includes a thruster based movement as in real life just don't move like any space game but it moves gradually and because space don't have gravity it keeps moving forever unless you activate the corresponding thrusters and so on the code is simple and commented and the movement is perfect also the project comes with a huge UI showing everything that is placed on the ship from systems to weapons also with a simple code I hope you enjoyed this small episode and I would love to see what everyone will create with this small and yet complicated asset. And looking forward to playing all of your games. In the end, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also consider joining our kingdoms on social media. 
is on Discord or our new branch on Facebook. See you all in the next adventure.